Yo, what is going on guys? It is Huggy Face Gaming here and welcome to another Dragon Ball related video. Now within this video, it's actually going to be a little bit different because we are not going to be talking about anything really related to Dragon Ball as like the show or the anime or the manga. We are actually going to be covering stuff about future games because Bandai Namco have been promoting this thing called the Dragon Ball Game Super Showcase in which it's actually going to be today January 14th from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hopefully I could get this video out before that thing actually happens so you guys could hear my predictions for what they're actually going to be showing but within it, what they were actually stating is that they are actually going to be doing big reveals big news and big interviews with the producers of both the people who made it Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 as well as Dragon Ball Fighters. Now the fact that they are including these two games just makes it a lot easier to kind of speculate as to what exactly they are going to be showcasing within this actual overall interview and the whole panel that they're doing. Obviously, since it is Xenoverse 2 and Fighters, there's a lot of things that could go into this. One, within these predictions, I am going to be talking about what I think is going to be happening. I know a lot of other YouTubers were talking about what they thought were going to be happening, but here's what I think. I feel as though... Within this, the main thing they're going to be revealing is probably Fighters Season 2. Now, the reason why I think they are going to be showcasing Fighters Season 2 is because of the fact that they are actually releasing a kind of like a deluxe edition of Dragon Ball Fighters in which you get the base game as well as all DLC. Now, when it comes to deluxe editions like that, it usually means that either one, the game is totally finished, there's not going to be anything else to do with that exact game, or there is going to be more content for people to unlock it later on. That is just an incentive to have everything right off the bat. And then obviously buy the next DLCs that come afterwards. That's what I feel like they're doing within this. Now, especially since the fact that obviously the producer of Dragon Ball Fighters is going to be there. It'd be a huge opportunity to actually showcase Fighters 2. Now, I don't really want you know, characters being revealed, because I doubt they have some characters, well, maybe they do have some characters planned for Season 2, but obviously, as long as they just showcase that there is going to be a Season 2, that's all I really care about, because obviously, the season that they actually had was kind of lackluster, it was just kind of, it was whatever, obviously, I mean, obviously, there was a lot of fan favorites, Bo uh, Broly, Bardock, uh, Vegito, uh, 17 cooler a lot of those fan favorites but there is some questionable characters that they actually put in and hopefully they listen to us within season two because hopefully they give us some amazing characters i'm hoping for characters like kefla uh jiren hopefully we get uh, obviously dragon ball super broly i know a lot of people were already stating that there has been data miners who actually data mined the game already and they actually found out some leaked characters but Hopefully the characters I want actually make it in. I don't know the exact leaked characters because I didn't really look into it. I know one person commented down on one of my comment sections what characters were leaked. So thank you for that. But like I'm saying, I don't really know them off the bat. But when it comes to this panel, hopefully they just mention at least Fighters Season 2 because I really want to see more characters into Fighters for me. I stopped playing Fighters for a bit because I was just kind of trophy rushing. The only trophies I needed are the ones with Zenny, but hopefully with more characters being added into the game, I could get back into playing the game not only casually, but competitively. Now, this is where the speculation kind of drifts off because we do have Xenoverse producer being there. I feel like they're not going to introduce Xenoverse 3 because I know a lot of people are stating that maybe they're going to be showcasing a new Xenoverse because obviously what else can they do with Xenoverse 2? Even myself, I don't really like playing Xenoverse 2 anymore. I was going to make a separate video on that, but I'll just state it right here. I really don't like Xenoverse 2 that much anymore just because of the fact that for me, it's kind of boring now. There's not really that much to do. I feel like the producers and the people behind Xenoverse 2 are just milking out money, just including DLC characters that should have been in the game and whatnot, so I kind of hate Xenoverse in that regard, so hopefully when it comes to the producer, they're just fixing the game, or they might actually introduce Xenoverse 3 as one of their big reveals, but the reason why I feel like they're not going to be introducing Xenoverse 3 is because of obviously Jump Force coming out in February. But obviously just because Jump Force is coming out in February doesn't mean that they can't introduce or kind of just show the logo or something of Xenoverse 3. If they actually showcase something of Xenoverse 3, I would be super, super hyped because I just love Xenoverse as a whole. I've been playing this game since the first one came out. I've loved it so much. I put so much hours into this game like you guys don't even know. But 
I mean, if they showcase something Xenoverse 3 related, I would be super happy. You know, obviously, they could go into the route of, obviously, Dragon Ball Super Story when it comes to their story mode. Because Xenoverse 2 did touch upon the game, uh, Dragon Ball Super-wise, in terms of DLC. But with, obviously, the new game coming out, they could kind of expand that rather than having it in short clips within the DLC season. So hopefully when it comes to Xenoverse 3 to give us that as well as majority of the characters we got in Xenoverse 2 as base game, you know, content because it would suck if we got Xenoverse 3 and we have to repay all of these characters. Like I would really, really be upset about that. But hopefully when it comes to the Xenoverse portion of this panel, they actually introduce something new in terms of like the production of Xenoverse 3 because if it's more to do with Xenoverse 2, I kind of feel like that shouldn't really be the main priority anymore because Xenoverse 2, in my opinion, is kind of dying down. You really don't see that many people playing Xenoverse 2. I was trying to do the expert mission with Goku, like the easiest expert mission to get the crystals for the crystal raids. Not that many people were doing them. Like, not that many people are playing this game anymore because I'm guessing they're getting bored of it just like I am. Like, I honestly didn't think I was going to be buying the DLC and playing more after the original 4 season pack, but here i am still playing it and i am getting pretty bored of it so hopefully fingers crossed they have something to do with xenoverse 3 being in the making or like at least a teaser trailer maybe but i like i'm saying i feel like they're not going to be showcasing anything to do with that because of jump force and jump force i feel like is like the main priority right now because a lot of people are hoping that jump force is an actual good game including myself i already have it pre-ordered i'm just you know waiting for it to come out so i could actually try it maybe i'll try the private beta but the private beta times that they have are just ridiculous if you guys have seen the beta times for jump force you'll know how crazy it is it's like three four in the morning that they're actually uploading these beta times for people to actually play it's really crazy but yeah hopefully when it comes to all of this like i'm saying they introduce fighters season two because obviously fighters needs it right now i feel like fighters is kind of dying down especially with all of that you know uh, the stuff that they're saying about not being able to play at major tournaments and whatnot, I feel like a lot of people are going to need something to kind of bounce back from that because without fighters in the competitive scene, and it's a really, really popular game in the uh, fighting community as well. Like, I don't know why they're not including it in major tournaments, but hopefully with Season 2, they can actually bring out more characters that people wanted, more play styles, more, you know, ways to play the game, and so on and so forth, because the more you add characters, I feel like the better the game's going to flow, the more people are going to actually be, you know, switching characters in and out to see what exactly is the best team as well as seeing within tournaments what is the best team that people actually use so like i'm saying hopefully they showcase fighters season two i doubt they're going to be showcasing a new fighters game just the season two in and of itself would be good enough and when it comes to the xenoverse side of things hopefully they actually showcase something to do with xenoverse 3 like but like i'm saying i doubt it because of jump force and hopefully it's not something to do with more dlc because i honestly don't think they could add more dlc to this game all the characters that I wanted already in this game more characters that they put in would just mean that they're just milking out money because this game honestly as as of right now I just feel like it should just be done and over with they should just fix some online issues some netcode issues and so on and so forth to be somewhat of a perfect stable game so hopefully it's not more to do with Xenoverse 2 DLC content because at this point like I'm saying I just feel like they're just milking out more money from us and maybe within this whole panel they might showcase something to do with the Dragon Ball Heroes coming to the Nintendo Switch I mean, I feel like a lot of people are into Dragon Ball Heroes. Me, myself, I haven't really been into Dragon Ball Heroes that much. I'm really loving the anime that they're showcasing. The anime is really, really fun. I do enjoy the contents of the actual anime. Maybe I'll pick it up for the Switch to see how exactly it works and whatnot, because I have zero clue as to what exactly Dragon Ball Heroes actually is about. All I know is just a bunch of what-if scenarios, so maybe I could, you know, jump into the Nintendo Switch and actually see what it is about. So hopefully they showcase something of that so I could get hyped for that game as well. But what are your guys' predictions of this? Do you guys think it's going to be another Xenoverse 3 they're going to be showcasing? What do you guys actually hype for within this panel? Like I'm saying, by the time I actually upload this video, I believe there's going to be like four hours left. This live stream is going to be happening on Bandai Namco's Twitch channel. So if you guys want to check it out when it actually comes out, like I said, 4 p.m. through 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you guys want to check it out and see what exactly they're going to be showcasing, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a video hopefully right away, right after the stream ends. And I can actually tell you guys what they actually include. But with that being said, guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.